Hello everyone, my name is Leo and with this video I would like to talk about two AI tools everybody is talking about that are Suno V3 and Udio. These are AI tools that are able to generate music just from a prompt. For instance, let's write this prompt in Suno. An instrumental rock song based on electric guitar. And this is the result. I tried the same prompt in Udio and well, <laughs> the result was pretty psychedelic, I would say. Therefore, I've tried this simple prompt, a rock song based on electric guitar. And this is the result. When the amps are loud, I feel This is pretty impressive and the voice is actually very nice. These tools are becoming better and better and I'm sure that it won't take too long for these tools to create songs almost indistinguishable from actual song composed and recorded by professional musicians. Now, if you follow our community you know that I am a fan of AI based tool to speed up my productivity in terms of music creation and especially video creation for my music. For instance, I use Synthetizer V that acts like a virtual instrument. I mean, you write the notes and the text and the tool sing for you. And I also use Leonardo AI in order to create the backgrounds for my music videos, like in this example. The Now, I have tried to use AI tools for the more oriented compositional part of my music creation journey. For instance, uh, using ChatGPT or Cloud in order to create the lyrics for a song or Suno or Udio to create an entire song. But even if the quality I was obtaining was good, I literally finally end up asking myself, What's the point? I mean, music and lyrics creation is not just a mechanical process, but it is a way for me to express an emotion. What's the point if in order to express what I feel, my sentiments, etc., I use an AI song created with a text prompt? I mean, I have used AI tools to create the lyrics of one of my songs and actually AI has generated pretty good words, but they were simply not mine. And so, what's the point for me to create music if this music is not the result of my personal experience, of what I feel in that moment, of my passions, my struggles in life, my happy moments, my sad moments, etc. Actually, music like every art is a form of expression, is a way we have as human beings to share our emotions with other human beings. We feel this urgency since the beginning of what we can call the human culture. We felt the need to draw pictures in the ancient case to tell our story. I'm pretty sure we were singing a sort of prehistorical music to share our emotions. I don't think this urgency, this need we have to express ourselves and to share our emotions could ever stop. Furthermore, if I think at myself as a listener 
and not as a musician, I always complement my listening experience thinking at what the author wanted to tell me. You know, when I listen to a beautiful music, it's not, it is not just a song, it's a message, it's a form of expression of another human being that wanted to tell me a story. An AI-generated music could never be the same as the one generated by a human being that has a story, that has a true human emotion to tell me and to share. Of course, if we are talking about good music. Now, let me share another perspective. I'm not a painter and I have no talent at all to draw. And therefore, for me, tools like Leonardo AI are really important tools to be able to express my vision, my message, to complete my songs with their visual counterpart. But, in this case, Leonardo AI pictures are just tools to enrich my primary goal, that is to share with you emotions through my music. So, as a musician, I don't see the point in using Suno or ChatGPT to create music, but tools like Leonardo AI are very useful to help me to complement my music, to complement my music vision with actual good pictures. On the other hand, if I were a painter and draws were the medium to share my emotions, I think I would not use Leonardo AI, but uh, I had to personally draw my pictures. On the other hand, still, if I was a painter, I would use AI-generated music to, let's say, accompany, accompany my artistic vision. In fact, not being a musician, but a painter, those tools would help me a lot. So, maybe like many of you, I'm at the same time scared for these AI music generation tools and fascinated and really eager to use all the potentiality that AI tools offer me to share my music. I see AI like a complementary tool. For a painter, music generation tools could help them to complement their artistic vision. Like for me, Leonardo AI helped me to create a more complete package for my music. At the very end, my hope is that AI will never substitute human being in creation, in creating art and music, as human emotions and the process of sharing them will still remain the center point of the whole artistic and music generation and listening experience. But please let me know your opinions in the comment section below. I think it's a, a very interesting argument, something we all should care about as the future is really gonna be AI driven, wanting or not. Thank you for watching and see you soon, bye bye.